here, definitely hit that subscribe button because I generally post one to two videos a week. My schedule is changing right now, so we'll see how we do for the next couple of weeks. But I'm guessing that many of you who are here are new, so this is my YouTube channel. It's called 360 Nails. It goes along with my main website, which is also 360 Nails, and you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snups at 360 Nails as well. So thank you so much for stopping by. I'm sure you're here because you probably found my video in a list of a bunch of other amazing nail artists because I am a part of a gigantic nail polish community collab among a bunch of amazing nail artists and nail polish YouTubers and we are doing our faves for fall so we're picking our favorite polishes I don't think there's a specific number I think everyone's picking just their favorites for fall whether that be a big number or a small number but this is an absolutely incredible collab and I'm so happy that and grateful that I was a part of it and yeah so I will have every single nail artist who is a part of this collab linked in the description box it will be their YouTube and their Instagram Instagram, I think. So you can check out that list down there. I highly re recommend that you do. They're all amazing. So let's just get into the polishes. I have 12 to show you, so let's go. Okay, so a couple of the things you'll be seeing in today's video will be familiar because I will have shown them recently because I am going to be posting a haul soon. I'm pretty sure this video is going up first, so if you haven't seen the polishes already on my Instagram, you'll definitely be seeing them soon in a haul video. So you will be seeing these again. And I also have a couple that you probably haven't seen since last year. So I have a good mix of stuff and I'm not going in any particular order. So let's just get on with the first polish. Okay, so I'm going to start with miscellaneous polishes, and you likely saw this one if you saw my recent nail art video, but if you're new here, you probably haven't. So this is called Drift, and it is by Pacifica. This is a fantastic brand. They are 7 free, 100% vegan, and cruelty-free, which I think is fantastic. And this is just a gorgeous kind of taupe brown, just kind of muted gray toned shade. It's just absolutely perfect for fall. It's your perfect kind of nude neutral color for fall if you want to do some fun nail art or if you just want to tone down your nails for the cooler weather. And this is amazing. This is a, I'm pretty sure this is a one coater. Yeah, this is definitely a one coater. I remember that. This is why I bought this polish because it was just absolutely amazing. The application is wonderful and overall I just think this is a great brand. Also, how cute are these caps? Anyway, so that is Drift by Pacifica. My second miscellaneous polish is from OPI, and this is called Teal Me More, Teal Me More, which is an adorable name. This is from the OPI Grease Collection, and I was so lucky to find it reduced at Sally Beauty, which was fantastic. And it is just a really nice teal color. I think a teal is absolutely perfect for fall. It is just such a nice, it's a good transition color too, but it's also a nice color just to wear for fall if you want something a tiny bit summery, but just a little bit darker for fall. And I actually have not tried this polish yet. I'm going to soon, so I may not have a swatch picture for this one, but it still is really gorgeous, and I highly recommend it anyway because it's beautiful. So that is Teal Me More, Teal Me More by OPI. The next two I've got are from Sinful Colors, and these are relatively new to me, but I have tried them before. This first one is called Brave, and this is a beautiful kind of, I guess, brick toned kind of orangey red color. It does have a splash of brown and it's just really nice and warm and just very nice for fall. This is a matte polish. It's part of, I'm not sure if this was a limited edition collection or if it was just kind of a finish that they were offering for a while, but it is a matte finish and that means that it does dry a little bit faster, but this is one of the best matte polishes I've ever worked with. Usually they kind of get clumpy or sticky or they dry way too fast, but this one's perfect. This one was pretty much like ply, like like applying a regular polish, but it's fantastic. And I really like the matte finish. So that is Brave by Sinful Colors. This next one was a polish that I'd been seeing for probably maybe a couple months and I just kept putting off buying it because I wasn't sure if I'd like it, but it was still really pretty. And I finally decided to get it a couple weeks ago and it is gorgeous. I actually have this on my nails right now. I am doing my nails again soon because they are a little worn out, but this is where it is here on my ring finger and you can see it's a little bit chipped, but this is a really nice fall color, perfect for cooler weather. It does have that kind of subtle shimmer and it's like a pinkish copper shimmer. And it has a nice formula. It's good in two to three coats and it's great because you can't beat sinful colors. It's $2 or $3 per bottle, which is great. And that is Forbidden Fruit by Sinful Colors. 
The next two I have to show you are from Zoya, another brand that I really appreciate because they are 10 free, which is awesome. So this one is called Brita, and this is a beautiful kind of cranberry magenta flaky foil polish, and this is packed with so much gorgeous stuff. It has this lovely kind of gold foil flake in it, as well as some copper and some more magenta, and it's just really nice. It kind of looks like a, like a frosty cranberry kind of color, which I think is really nice. This is the perfect color for the fall. It has a it has a great, probably two coat formula. I haven't used this one in a really long time, so I'm looking forward to trying this one again over the fall. And it's just really nice. So that is Brita by Zoya. By the way, I do apologize if there's any background noise. I'll try to fix that in editing. But the next polish we've got here is Dream by Zoya, a longtime favorite of mine and a favorite for fall. This is a perfect, perfect sapphire blue, which is great if you are celebrating a birthday in September or something like that. Um, and this is just so nice for fall. It's just beautiful. It's so sparkly and holographic and just really unique and so interesting to look at on the nails. It's like looking into space. So this is so pretty. And this one is good in two, I'd say one or two coats. It's really nice, very sparkly, but it's really not that hard to remove because it's mostly kind of a flaky glitter. Anyway, so that is Dream by Zoya. These next two are by Essie and they are brand new to me and I tried them last week and they are absolutely amazing. I am so pleased with these polishes. They are probably some of my all-time favorite Essie polishes ever. So both of them are from the New York City Fall Collection that was released this year. And this first one is called Booties on Broadway, and these all have super cute names by the way. So this one is a gorgeous, super dark, navy toned just kind of indigo, almost midnight indigo blue, and it is amazing, but my favorite thing about these two polishes that I'm going to be showing you is that they have the new Essie brush. I believe these were already available in the UK, but they are new to the US, so these are brand new, super amazing. They're really, really nice paddle brushes. They are my favorite paddle, br paddle brushes that I've ever used. They're awesome and I hope Essie keeps these in the U.S. because they're amazing. So this one's Booties on Broadway, and this is your perfect one coat blue. This is great if you have somewhere to be in the fall and you just want to throw something really nice on your nails. Gorgeous. That is Booties on Broadway by Essie. This next one is another one of my all-time favorites as well. This is called Say It Ain't Soho, and another super cute name. This is an amazing, shimmery, coppery, gold flash gorgeousness right here. This is a, I'd say this is a very orange toned copper. This just reminds me so much of fall leaves and just fall in general. You can see it kind of has like a gold and red fleck in it. It's so fall themed and just fills the air with autumn gorgeousness. So this is an amazing polish. It does have a little bit of brush stroking, but that won't really matter. It's just so gorgeous that you wouldn't even notice. And this is good in one to two coats, depending on how long your nails are amazing this brush is awesome too and they're just so gorgeous i love pairing all these shades together so that is say it ain't soho by essie the final four i have to show you are from china glaze and this first one i believe i included it in a fall picks polish video last year but this is called songbird serenade this may have been in a recent i forget if it was my dark polishes or shimmer polishes video but i know it was in one of them and this is an amazing polish i don't really like wearing black nail polish by itself but i do like wearing black nail polish with shimmer in it <laughs> these are just so interesting this also reminds me i think china glaze is releasing a all black collection for halloween which i'm actually really excited for because they're not just basic black. They're all these different black polishes with all these cool elements in them. So I'm super excited about that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a review for that collection or a couple polishes in that collection. I do like to do a lot of partial reviews on my channel just so you can kind of get an idea of a collection. Anyway, back to this polish. This is a lovely black base with this all kinds of multicolored, just beautiful confetti of gorgeous kind of flaky shimmer in this polish and it is so nice. This is good in one to two coats depending on nail length and is just perfect for fall because it just kind of has that hint of color in there but it's also black so if you are a black nail polish enthusiast then this will be great for you. So that is Songbird Serenade by China Glaze.
This next one is from last year's China Glaze Fall Collection, and this one you've seen a ton on my channel this year, last year, every year, because it's amazing. This is Rockin' Royale by China Glaze. I will say this again, but if you, this is your first video, then you may have never heard me say this before, but if this is one of your more... But if you've been here for a while, you've definitely heard me say this before. This is kind of a red velvety chocolate red color and it is just so beautiful. It's just basically kind of a nice crimson maroon red with just a tinge of brown that makes it look so nice. This is one of my all-time favorite polishes to wear on my nails in the fall, especially right when fall starts. I think it's a great color to break out. And this one is really, really nice. This is fantastic in one coat. You can do one coat or two coats and it'll look amazing. So that is Rock and Royale by China Glaze. Our final polish today is from this year's China Glaze Fall Collection. It is so gorgeous as well. This is called Central Parka, which is an adorable name. And this is a perfect kind of army green, just nice and toned down, kind of that muted green that's really popular in fashion right now. And I love this color. It is so pretty. I enjoy it in fashion and in nail polish. And I really can't wait to do some nail art with this. I think that'll be really fun. So this one is great in two coats. It has a really nice formula, just kind of your regular formula, not too thin, not too thick. And this is beautiful. I think this one and Rock and Royale look stunning together. Basically, any polishes in this video will look amazing together. So I will do my best to link all of them in the description box, by the way. If you're interested, they will be Amazon links, and you can just click them and find the polish. But if I can't find it, then I will try to include maybe a description of where you could find it. So I hope that's helpful, and definitely check below if you're interested. So anyway. Anyway, this is Central Park Up by China Glaze. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by. So if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and welcome. I generally do a lot of nail art and nail polish videos here on my channel. I'm working on some schedule changes and things like that, but there will hopefully be at least one video a week for the next couple weeks as I figure everything out. And yeah, so definitely please check out all the amazing vi videos that all the other nail artists will be putting together. I'm not quite sure when they'll all be going up. I think they're all going up throughout today. So definitely check out their channels and just wait around and you can definitely see all the videos. You can take a couple days, couple hours to watch all these videos and you'll have a ton of fun content from a ton of amazing nail artists and nail polish enthusiasts to enjoy. So I hope you stick around for more videos in the future and I will see you in my next one. Have a polished rest of your day. Bye! Bye.